what's going on? I'm Diego from Snow Wombat Airsoft and here's a review of the Franchi Spaz 12 shotgun um, licensed by ASG. So we're going to open this up and I'm going to just give you an in-depth review of this gun and see if it's good. So starting off with the box, it comes out, it comes out with a pretty good packaging. There's the gun. But it comes in good packaging, so it won't hold it in so much, but it'll get the job done during shipping. It comes with more of an instruction piece of paper. It doesn't have too much and it just tells you how to reload it and everything. And there's not really much about this gun, but picking it up off the ground, you see it's a shotgun. So it's a fully licensed by uh, Franchi, the makers of the Spaz 12. So it's pretty good. Um, it's pretty hot right now, so the gun is pretty hot since it is all black. It does not come in any other colors, just black. And overall, this gun is pretty good. It's pretty light, so yeah, it's pretty light. It's made of plastic though. This is only one metal piece, and that is this right here. It's the pumping strip, so it can pump backwards and forwards to move the piston. But overall, it is pretty good. The sights are regular Spaz 12 sights. Um, I am pretty far from the camera. But, yeah. Um, there are a couple gripes about this. First of all, it is the loading, how to reload it. Um, forget my loading thing, but to reload it, it's not like any other shotgun. You have, it's not here, it won't come back. It's not in the bottom, it's not in the back, it's not in the top. It's this. It's a tube, and how to load it is you push down the spring, and so you push it down all the way, and then you'll feel it get tighter at a certain spot near the end and then a little piece will come out right here and then you want to twist the end cap where you load it into and it'll lock and so then i'm not going to load it right now i'm just going to demonstrate how to load it and then you just pour it in and then you have it will fall out it doesn't have anything catching it so you're going to have to load it like this and then twist it make sure it's locked put it this way and then where the little piece comes comes out of the tube you're going to want to pinch it and it's going to go back in you want to pump it and then you're good so overall it's pretty good the the um, when you pump it you have to push down hard because if you go like this it's gonna it won't let you see so you're gonna have to go like this so overall this is a, a good starting weapon if you're getting into airsoft like me this is my first video of this so we're gonna do a shooting test i don't have no chronographs because like i said i'm starting off but i read online i tested it it shoots about 200 F fps it is spring so it's not gonna go 400 or nothing but overall, I think you can put a stock because right here, there is a hole and it looks like you can move around. And overall, that's, oh, I forgot, the safety is right here, right next to the grip. You can just push that in, it's very easy to push in and it works like a regular safety. Um, overall, this gun is pretty good. I've said that like five times and I know, but... I would recommend buying this if you are starting off because it does perform really well. You know, it's just a standard pump action shotgun. And so I got this on evike.com for $30 and plus shipping and handling. And I also got this on evike just in case you're interested. It's a grenade uh, pineapple loader. So you pour it in like this. And that's about it. I got this on Evike for 352. So, in case you're wondering 
if you would like to buy this you can buy it through me i will be selling this uh but give me about a week when this video goes up to set up a paypal account and then i'll i'll post another video about the paypal account and i'll post and i'll include in that video that i will be selling this but we are going to go on to the shooting test right now and uh we'll do this right now hey so we're going to do the shooting test and uh i don't have a target but i know where i'm shooting i'm gonna shoot against a metal pot over there so just how you load it you push this down and then you'll feel it get tighter the little uh end piece will come out you twist it and then it'll lock in place you grab whatever if you're gonna load it by hand speed loader uh fill loader doesn't matter and don't drop the bbs Okay, that's about good. Put this right here. Okay. And like I said, yeah, if you tilt it like this, if you try to put it like that, it's going to fall in and you're going to have to start all over. So you have to put the gun, which is kind of awkward, like this. Twist it. And then let it drop. And push it. And so and then you'll be able to shoot. It does shoot pretty fast. It does shoot pretty hard. So always be careful. Never shoot this at anyone. You know, simple rules. Okay, so that was a shooting test. It shoots pretty far. Um, I shot it. That was about. This is about 50 feet away. So overall. I would say this gun is pretty good if you are looking for a standard gun to start airsoft with. It could be just a backyard gun to shoot to show off to your friends. But overall, out of a rating, I would give this an eight out of ten. Uh, it has strong, it has a strong body, has a strong body, good shooting, a uh, nice pump, uh, no stock. Oh, so that's the goods for the stock part but the bad thing is the loading tube takes a long time to reload it doesn't come with the stock so you probably have to buy one of those and it, it requires a little bit of force to pump the gun so overall i got this on evike.com for 30 dollars. you can buy this through me or you can buy this at evike i do free shipping once i get my paypal account i'll set i'll set up a um video about this and the paypal so send me a message if you're interested in buying this it's gonna i'll discuss the price in the paypal video i got this the pineapple loader on evike.com for 350 will not be selling this so just a gun and that's about it so thank you guys for watching this has been douglas from snow wombat airsoft and uh catch you guys next time thanks for watching and uh Feel free to subscribe and like. Thank you.